Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So I have some very bad news to begin with and that is that this is going to be my last ever video of 2018. So I'll give you a few seconds to get over it. Good. And now what I need to do is go over here and pick up the pallet and hopefully put it onto the forklift. You might think, why don't you just drive the forklift into the pallet? Well, as you already know, I, I can't operate forklifts. Um, so yes, hopefully this is going to work a bit better. What I was actually aiming for was, uh, well, something like this. There we go. Good. So now what I'm going to do is put this down because it's going to be used for stacking egg pallets onto, egg boxes onto. Um, yeah, we have three, so the first two I can move. I'm not going to move the third one because it could still potentially be filling up, in fact it probably is, uh, which would actually mean it would be pointless to move it since it wouldn't even be a full box. It would just be taking up space unnecessarily on the pallet. So there we go. And there we go. And in case I accidentally crash into the forklift, I'll put a strap over it. There we go. And that now basically guarantees no eggs are going to be broken. I have the case tractor, which is ready to be put away because I have the... Uh, well, apparently it's called an Acrobat rake on the back. So, yeah, nice to know the different terminology for these different machines. I would have just called it a rake, but there you go. Uh, I'm always doing that. Okay, so uh, yeah, the rake is going to be much easier. <laughs> I just call it a rake anyway. For um, doing the baling or the picking up of the straw from our other fields. Basically any field which is being done with this combine harvester here. I do have a, a field which has got straw in it, but it's just okay as it is. I can't even use the, uh, the Acrobat for this because it's already a fairly good distance between each swath. However, if I had a bigger one in the future, a bigger rake, I could just use that to... Uh, bring two together here as well obviously so yep in the future I'm hoping to be able to expand the farm by buying bigger pieces of equipment but one step at a time my focus is now on uh, basically expanding the animals and also hopefully saving up for another combine harvester a bigger one because this one is actually really small so today the first thing I'd like to do is start the sunflower harvest it might not be something we finish today I'm hoping just to uh, begin it is going to involve leasing a header uh, which isn't exactly great because it's just going to be another expense uh, to come off the uh, the overall income so the, pro the profit is going to be reduced but I'm hoping because they are sunflowers they're going to be still a fairly good price anyway now I'm also hoping that there is going to be a, a decent selling price if there isn't I'm going to have to keep it in the trailer keep the sunflowers in the trailer until there is a good price so yep it's just going to be one of those things I do need to harvest the field though because it's probably going to be turned into another oat field um, because the horses will be requiring oats at some point in the next week or so. Uh, I think that was one of my pallets, yeah, one of my pallets just casually sitting on the verge. So here we are, and of course I haven't brought the other header. It's something I would do, but this time I didn't do it, so that's good. Okay, so we have the, uh, the Capello and we've also got the Corn Champion, both of which can harvest sunflowers. We also have the Capello HS Ace just here, but that would be a bit too expensive and also a bit too big. So it's between these two. We get an extra 0.4 of a meter in working with for uh, this one is uh, 867 pounds to lease. 969. It really isn't worth it. I would love to use the Ziegler, I think it's called, but yeah, for the extra price, extra amount of money, it's uh, yeah, not really worth it. So yes, there it is. Luckily, I didn't even have to change the color. You can change the, uh, the colour to a custom colour to suit the combine, but luckily it's pretty close anyway. It's not too far off. Uh, so, yeah. Like I say, to ruin a good joke, uh, it's the last video of this year because it's the final day of the year. So, um, yeah, hopefully you're going to be doing some more videos tomorrow and, in fact, every day of the year. That would be good. <laughs> Although, yeah, Christmas Day I don't tend to do a video. It's just one of those things. Although, I checked, and last year, I did do a Christmas Day video. Something I pre-recorded, just like a, a mod review. So, yeah, maybe I should have done one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The time has passed, the opportunity has uh, disappeared. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a live stream later or not. I probably won't be. Um, if I do a live stream, it might be very shortly after publishing this video. Um, but no, I've just been trying to have, uh, you know, a bit of a break. Uh, for the last few days, even though I still put a video on, because it, it is just part of my daily routine making these videos. I really enjoy it, and it's very relaxing. But yes, I think 
live streams I might not be doing until the new year. Uh, so potentially tomorrow, <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, yeah, so that is my field of straw, which I really do want to bail. I don't know if I can afford a baler. It's highly unlikely. But after selling some sunflowers, if the price is good, I might then be able to buy one. It's not something I desperately need to do. It would just be nice to be able to stack bales up in the yard. So here it is. It is a relatively big field now because I have expanded it so much. But, yeah, I don't know how much... Uh, work it's going to take for most of you to harvest this because if I can use a worker that would be good. Yeah, it's filling up very slowly so I assume I can stick it on a worker and it's going to harvest pretty much the entire field without any intervention from me. The reason why I want to put it on a worker is because I prefer to do a highly paid job. And I've just noticed because this combine doesn't have a chopper the amount of chaff coming out is very limited. There is a bit, but yeah, not a great deal. I suppose though, there wouldn't be too much to come out. Would there? Well, it's a big plant though, isn't it? So it's a very tall crop. Don't know. I've never actually seen a, a sunflower harvest in real life, so I couldn't really comment, but yeah, I, I think it should really be harvested with a combine with a chopper, but I don't know. Maybe you can uh, bale the straw. Not that we are dropping straw, but it, maybe you can do. So, I'm going to take the headland off and make it easier, just generally and then we'll leave it to the worker to complete the job. I'll have to bring a tractor and trailer over here as well. Right, so that's now off on a worker. It's going to just find its own route. Uh, so in the meantime, I need to grab the Ford tractor. Seems like a decent tractor to have. Um, yeah, so we're going to take it over there and just keep unloading. Now, I don't know why I said that it would probably only be one tank load for the entire field, because that would be a very bad yield. Uh, thankfully, it is already, I think, three quarters full, which is good. Now, what is in this trailer? <laughs> what have I left in here? Probably some oats or something. Uh, it could be wheat. Or it could be empty. I don't know. Uh, no, it is absolutely full of wheat. In that case, over to the chickens first of all, unload it, and then we'll finally go and store it or sell it. I've been told that you can actually put it into the silos which go to the train station, the train um, sell point. But yeah, I don't know if I actually want to store it, I might just want to sell it, so we'll have to see. But thank you anyway for everybody's suggestion. Yeah, it took quite a few, quite a few grains. Right, uh, so, where is the best price? It's okay for wheat, I think, the grain mill. 16.54. So off we go. Wool! We have wool! And yes, I, do, I need to do a bit of um, landscaping to make this look a bit better. Also put a few tracks in and stuff, put a road in. Uh, that'll probably be in the next episode. Unless I do it today. I could always do it today. Hmm. It depends if I'm going to buy a baler. If I don't need a baler, I can spend a few thousand on landscaping. Like, always, there's always going to be somebody who thinks it's a total waste of money to just spend money on uh, excavating the terrain. But, um, no, I, I do like to uh, make things look better, even if it does cost in-game money. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's only a bit of in-game money. It's like Monopoly. It's like um, buying a, a, pl a place on there. It's like... Mm, did you really need to buy that? But actually, yes I did, because it's not real money. That is the way I look at it anyway. <laughs> in Monopoly, I just land on a place, on a location, or whatever, depending on what type of Monopoly you're playing. There's so many different versions these days. And I just buy it, because you might as well. If somebody lands on you, you get money, and it's not real money anyway, so yeah. It seems to be quite a strategic way of uh, playing. If, of course, you can actually afford to buy them in the first place. Now, I've moved on from Farming Simulator to Monopoly, so let's revert back to Farming Simulator. Um, although, if I did pass go and I got 200 pounds... Oh, no, 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 deviating too much now. Right, if I go on to here, we'll just go and sell it and see what we can get. Hopefully, it's going to be a fairly good price. 
Looking good. Fifteen. Wow, that is good. That price must be very close to one of the best prices you can get on uh, farm manager mode, I assume. And then somebody will tell me that no, you can get two and a half thousand or three thousand. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes, please do let me know. But of course, I am playing on uh, easy economy and farm manager mode. So yeah, that probably is the best price anyway. A few viewers were actually wondering where this mod actually originated from, and I believe it is actually the, uh, the New Holland A340 originally, which has been modified. Um, very well done. It's been done very well. And yes, I, I know that a few viewers wanted me to put a link down below, so I have done the download link. I'm assuming Mod Host is the original site for it, so that's where I've put it to. But of course, if the original authors um, do want to get in touch and maybe adjust the uh, download link, then please do. I don't know if it is the original link, but I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is, so yeah. I always try and go for the original. But as I've said before, it isn't always possible, and sometimes there isn't actually an original link. Sometimes it is converted without permission, but this, I believe, is brand new. A brand new uh, sort of reskin, remake of the New Holland. Okay, so I'm going to finish this piece off myself, because otherwise it's just going to be a waste of money then the worker can continue up the field where it shouldn't struggle too much. It is nice to be using the corn header. I don't think I've used one yet in 19. Certainly not the small header anyway. And I need to uh, just make sure everything is made as easy as possible for our fantastic workers. The beacon is still on. And there we go. Okay, so... Now for the easy part, putting it onto a worker. But we're still going to be very busy. I need to try and find either a very highly paid job, or I need to uh, buy a baler and sort out a straw in field number 18. You see, because we now have three fields, I'm starting to struggle with remembering the names. I can remember 20 and 25, but three? Mm, counting to three, it's a tough one. There we go. Good. Um, so yeah, I, I want to look at the price of a, a baler, because I, I would love to get a baler. We don't really need one as such, but then it's going to be handy for hay, uh, even though I can pick up the hay with the loading wagon. Um, so yeah, let me just take a look here. 49000 I can f afford it then, that's good. Um, it is round though, I prefer to go for a square. I wonder if there is a decent square bell mod which is currently available to download, so like an older version of something. That would be good to see. I am going to disappear for a split second, take a look, and you're about to find out if I find one. I'm back and no I did not find one, so what I need to do is just wait. I need to just keep saving the money up until we can afford one. So next job is to take a look at the contract page. I would also like to do the uh, making a road. That would be nice. So, uh, let's just see here. Is there a £10,000 fertilising job? Possibly. They do seem to be very good. Mostly harvesting. Yeah, a good selection. Here we go. We do have fill number 22. It can be fertilised with pretty much anything. Liquid, solid, slurry or manure. Uh, I think we'll just go with whatever we have. So if I have something in the... Uh, Spray tank, I'll, I'll use that. If not, I'll use the uh, other thing. So here we go. Accept contract. And I need to pick the case tractor. The other thing, of course, meaning the fertilizer spreader. Uh, yes, yeah, so I need to take the front loader off, ideally. You wouldn't do that every time, but yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier for transporting stuff. So, yeah, cause basically, whenever I turn in the shed, I always seem to catch the front loader on the shed. There we go. 837. That's not very good. Although it probably is enough. It really doesn't take too much. That's herbicide. So, once again, yes, I'm going to go for the spreader. And we'll head off to fill number 22. How far away is it? Uh, very close, actually. That's good. Uh, it's one of them before. Yep. So I'll do this, and then I'm going to uh, 
level the ground a bit and put a road in. That is the plan. Because as you can see, it's a bit too steep. Very steep. But I suppose you're not supposed to drive up it at 26 miles per hour. Right, this is fill number 22 just here. And if I do run out, luckily we are very close to the store, so I can just go and buy some more fertiliser. I reckon that is going to be the working width. Uh, yeah, perfect. But I think, yeah, it does. It takes around six to 800 litres to spread this field. I, I'm pretty sure I did use the spreader before and not the sprayer. So we shouldn't have any issues. So yeah, I'm just going to continue and then we'll very happily take the £7,500 reward. Helper B is almost full, 80%, so that is very good timing. And this is also very easy money. I can't believe that you get £7,500 for doing this and only five and a half for doing the baling job, which is a huge job. You have to mow, row, <laughs> uh, use the tether, transport the bales and everything for five and a half thousand. And this is just a case of covering the field in a bit of fertilizer. And it's already completed. How easy. Well, that's definitely going to pay for the landscaping, uh, which does take a bit of money. Uh, it does, in fact, it does. It takes a lot of money because you have to uh, pay as you go. So, well, you probably know already because you've already used the tool. Um, but if you've, um, if you, if you're leveling a piece of ground, it charges you as you go. So, as you hold the mouse down, the mouse button, it will deduct money continually until you let go again. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Either somebody's had a bit of bowel problems, or this tractor needs a wash. Although, let's be honest, if somebody had a bowel problem that bad, the tractor's going to need a wash anyway. I think I'll take the fertiliser spreader off first, and then I'll give it a wash. Because uh, that is, um, yeah, that's quite extreme. Probably the dirtiest I've seen this tractor. But first, I need to go here. Uh, Typically, the auger is on the incorrect side. It almost was the right side. It's just turned around. Uh, it might be able to get it. Yeah, I think it will get to the far end. Because it is filling up very slowly. So, with a bit of luck, if I spin around at the end of here, the combine will make it turn around, and I can unload going back. But it's made some good progress, considering the size of the header. It's not a very big header at all. The blue Ford really does suit the blue trailer. If I made the canopy white, it would uh, it would be just like the perfect match. Good. Uh, this does, of course, mean the trailer is going to be fairly full by the end of this, probably uh, two thirds, which means it might be one full trailer from the entire field. I just hope the price is good. Still going. And yeah, that's it. Very good. So I'll park up. Uh, yeah, it should be able to finish the entire field without unloading again, hopefully. Now back over to the mucky thing. I just drive over here. I'll give it a good wash. A very well deserved wash, because I think it's done a lot of work in the time we've had it. That's it, you dirty thing. Let's get clean. Good. Um, yeah, so that is a huge improvement. I can now park it in the shed. And next time I'm going to be picking up the straw. But first, we have to do some landscaping. Looking at the farm from up here, it's just like this section is supposed to be a, another paddock or something uh, for horses. It seems a bit strange actually putting everything together, but it works. Horses, sheep, chickens, then put cows or pigs here. It does make everything easy. Okay, so I need to, uh, first of all, change the shape of the brush. I think it'll make a big difference. 
And I really want to just level this down a bit. As you can see, the money is plummeting. It is excessively expensive. But then again, it is just like hiring a digger, I suppose. You'd also have to pay for the worker to drive the, the digger. Sorry, the operator. That's probably a more respectful thing to call them. The operator of the digger. Uh, right, that's looking a bit... Yeah. <laughs> Steep. There we go. Yeah, it's much better. Just as long as it doesn't cost us more than the uh, £7,500 that I got paid. How much money are we on? Yep, that's fine. I can keep going with it a bit. It's just to smooth it off, really. There we go. Um, yeah, so next... We've got this piece here. Again, just smoothing it. Because uh, I do need access to the pallet, which is just there. I wonder how that's looking in uh, first person view. I always like to say in real life, but yeah, it, it's still not real life. <laughs> it's definitely first person view. I'm stuck. There we go. So I'm hoping it's just going to look uh, like it's improved. I'm not expecting it to be perfectly flat because that would be impossible. I want it just to be a nice, yeah, smooth edge. That is much better. So uh, I could definitely put some tracks in here. How's it looking over this side? It's made this trigger thing float. The zone marker. That's much better as well. Although, hopefully that hasn't uh, stopped the grass from growing here. It might have done. Time to put some roads in. So, <laughs> I call it a road. It's going to be just an extension of the, uh, the gravel here. So, oh no, that's not gravel. I want the same texture. Which texture is it? This one here? Yes. That's good. And it can cut down over here as well. Just to make it look neat. And over to the uh, wall pallets as well. Just make it look a bit neater. Uh, yeah, put a nice sharp edge on that, if I can do. A bit of space to manoeuvre. A smooth edge on this. There we go. Good. Now as for this lot here, maybe I should just make it a road running through the whole thing. I'm, I'm calling it a road, it's not really a road. A track. Because it sort of links everything together then. Neat. Well, I think that looks quite good. It's it's definitely a road. <laughs> I'm going to call it a road. Because it does, it runs all around here. Uh, well, it's a farm track, I suppose. But anyway, it's just going to make things look much better. Um, it just brings everything together instead of them just being like random placeables all over the place. So I'm going to fly up into the air and just take a look at these from above. Here it goes. Um, yeah, maybe the corner over there wasn't done very well. Uh, but otherwise, I think that is actually pretty good. And if we do have uh, a fourth enclosure just here, even if it is just chickens, it will still look even better, because then I can put a road between there and between those chickens as well. So yeah, this is potentially going to look very good in a few episodes time. I just need to curve this section here. So I need to find the right texture again, I've gone and lost it. Nope. Hmm. There we go. better and here and I think that is everything done so there we go a modification for the uh, animal farm 
the livestock farm. And this is smoother. Better access. Uh, so yep, yeah, I'm going to call that finished. It looks like the combine is almost finished as well. So I'm just going to prepare to unload. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll finish off the job myself. No point wasting money on a worker. But it has been very handy. I still haven't checked the price actually. Uh, like I said, I might be keeping the sunflowers in the trailer for just a few days. Until we get an even better price. But hopefully it's pretty good at the moment. And there we go. The final piece. And that's another 2,287 litres. Very good. To add to our almost full trailer. So the price of sunflowers, it is currently uh, 3248 over at the Grain Elevator East. That sounds very good. I, again, don't know what the best price is, but I would say that is actually up there as one of the best prices. We have 9,000 litres here. I don't think we need to keep any of it for animals because, uh, well, we don't have any pigs. I think only pigs would take them. So it is just going to be for selling. But this is going to be quite impressive, I think. If it's three and a half thousand pounds per 1,000 litres, yeah, it's going to be a good figure. I can't tell you the price because I have no idea, but I just know it's going to be quite good. Before I unload, what I'll do is just make sure I haven't actually uh, looked at the wrong sell point. Uh, before I go and sell it at the worst place, it could be Rain Elevator West or something, who knows. <laughs> I'll just have a look and confirm. Because that would be very frustrating if you went and took it to the wrong place, just because, well, because I looked at the wrong um, name. Let's just see here. Uh, Grain Elevator East. And this is Grain Elevator East. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Well, the money's going very fast. That's a good sign. Very fast. Nice. So that is very good, and it's actually covered the uh, purchase price of the header, because obviously, as you'll have seen my subtitle at the beginning, I would have said that I was leasing it, but then I accidentally clicked buy. So yes, we actually do own the header, uh, but we still managed to make a good profit. So uh, yeah, it turned out alright. So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.